drive manual in here. There's a little bag of tools for whatever reason. There's an MSO that I don't know why they send because you can't do anything can't with it. Okay. But so if somebody steals it, you've got this showing that the, the VIN number on that will match the VIN number on the bike. So it's kind of proof of I ownership. I got proof of ownership. Yeah. Got you. yeah, that's what that is. Okay, so great. That's all your stuff. Okay, thank you. All right, so here's your choke. So for, for a cold start, choke up. Yep. And then once it warms up a little bit, choke down to okay. run. Gotcha. Here's your pet cocks when I was saying. So in the wintertime, if you want to shut down. her off, you'll turn this to off. And then on the other side of the carburetor, where this hose connects to, yeah. there's a flathead screw. You okay. crack that screw. It's easy to see right there. The bottom screw is that you open Copper that. Ties. Yep. Open that one up and all the gas in the bowl will come out. And you, that's how you get rid of the gas in the bowl. Tighten okay. it back up, turn your fuel back on, and you get fuel back in your carburetor. Okay. The one up here on top is an idle adjustment screw. Turn that clockwise, it speeds up the idle. Turn it counterclockwise, slows your idle down. That's like right now when we go to start it when up it's or whatever. Idling, you know, if it's idling, up, 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 yeah. Up. If it starts idling too high or too low, that's where you make you can it adjust. Change. Yes. So that's completely separate from what you were Correct. talking about before. Yeah. Down there is the bowl drain. Right. The bowl the top drain. One is your idle adjust. It's idle adjust. Yeah. So they look. They're the same. It's like a choke, though, right? Isn't that head. like the idle adjust? The idle adjust is going to. So when you start something, when your car is running at, yeah. you, you come up to light and it, it's at an idle. So right. you can you can determine how fast you want that. Idle. Gotcha. So this can thing can go pop 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 or pop 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 pop. Right. You can determine. You can that determine that with that. Yeah. With that little that little that twist. little screw right there, yeah. That, yeah, that adjusts your idle. Okay. Um, this right here is your air filter, so air gets sucked in through here and into your carb. Okay. When you get the can of carb cleaner and spray, that's where you'll spray. You'll spray it right in there. Okay. Um, and hole here too. And how often do you do that? Would you spray the carb cleaner? So when it like this at first, it's new. You may have to do it a couple times. You'll know. So if it, if you get on it and it don't want to idle real good, or if you go to give it gas, it's kind of hesitating. Yeah. Rev it up a little bit. A couple shots. I'll show you how to do it. Okay. A couple shots of carb cleaner, and that'll clean that out. That'll clean that yeah. out. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Um, so to start it, you got a key. Turn the key to on. You know it's on because you can't pull it out. Okay. And then there's, this is a kill switch, so it's got to be on run. Okay. Okay. So, so the kill switch obviously is on top. You do that. You flip that. It yeah, kills so the whole you, thing. If you want to shut it down, just you just want to turn it off real quick. That shuts the whole thing off. Okay. okay. All right. There's no battery on it, so if you even leave the key on, it's not going to drain anything. Okay. This, this is just to keep somebody from stealing your bike. Okay. So you take the key out. They can't just jump on it right. and steal it. Most dirt bikes don't have a key, so anybody they're free game. Right. So they put the key on, so if you're around a group of people, somebody just can't be a jerk and jump on your bike and take off. And you, take you off. You got the key. Okay. Congrats. All right, thanks. Can you hold that for me, please? Thank you. So now to start it, it has to be in neutral. So well, it's, it's in, yep. If you if you can roll it, it's in neutral. It's in neutral, right? Yeah, so and if you put it in neutral. gear and grab the clutch, it's just going to slam straight down, and you're not going. It's not going to have any compression. So it's already been. So key on, on run. So you hear the idle? Yeah, that's, that's a good. Yeah, idle. it sounds good. Yeah. yeah. So as it breaks in, if it speeds up or slows down, you'll adjust it with that. With the screw, screw just turn it to the right or left. Yep. It'll go up or down. Yep. Okay. Yep. So now you see your car cleaner. So if you want to clean it out a little bit, there's where it goes. You rev it up. You can hear how it kind of takes it in. Yeah. That, that's it. It's sucking it in, going through there. It'll bog it down. Then as it clears it out, self out, then it runs smooth again. It runs smooth again. Yeah. But that's only if you start to hear it. Correct. Like right now, it's idle fine. It idle sounds good. Um, so after you turn the screw, if if the idle is rough, you're gonna do the screw part of it first, right? While, you're gonna while, do that while it's running. While it's that running, way you can hear the difference. you can hear it. Yeah, you can hear the difference in right. how high or low you want it. Like, right. I wouldn't. Right now, it sounds great. Yeah, so sounds I, good. I yeah. Leave it alone. yeah. So the only time that, that we're gonna spray that though is if once you adjust the screw, if it still sounds kind of rough, you spray it some more. Just yeah, spray. A lot of times, if it starts idling weird, it just needs to be cleaned out. Oh, okay. So now sometimes you don't always have to adjust the screw. Right. That's okay. That's if the most Okay. Better, it'll start revving up a little bit more. You can if this if it's revving high, this isn't going to fix it. This right. will only fix it if it's revving low. So then you'll have to turn the screw down just to turn the idle down a little bit as it breaks in. As it breaks in, okay. So to know right away, are you attempting? Are you spraying it first, or are you doing the screw I would first? Always spray first. Always spray yeah, first then, before you fool with the the screw and up or you, down. If you um, in the, once you've drained the carburetor and you've walked away from it for 30, 40 days or whatever, and you right. come back, get your can of carb cleaner, start it up, spray it out real good. Right. So now if I put it up on, you can kind of feel it kick a little bit. Now if I let off the clutch real it's slow, it's going to start to go. It's 
<laughs> the fuel, <laughs> yeah, the fuel turned off. <laughs> yeah, the fuel turned off, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Very good time. What happened? Should you have to turn the fuel and just turn it back on? Okay. So now I'm getting off real slow because I think I'm in neutral. I'm good. Okay. So now when you're when you're driving it, you I'm in first gear. Yeah. I go when I hear it start revving up a little bit. Right. Yeah. I grab the clutch, I go up another. Now I'm in second gear. Let off the clutch kind of easy, and off you go, give it gas and go. Changing the gears between, once you get going, is easy. It's the starting off that's gonna kind of frustrate right. you. Right, right. Because you're gonna, you're gonna do, like what I just did on the hill where I it just stalled on me, you're gonna do that probably a few times until you get the hang of the clutch. Right. So I tell people 50 tries before you start getting mad at yourself. Right. Because it, it, there's a learning curve to it. Yeah. So don't get frustrated and go, so I can't do this, this is too hard. You'll get it, and then once you get it, you're going to fall. So that, you, that's, the, that's the part you just got to be patient with. So come down, turn it on, yep. turn the key. And then you were flipping over here. You were doing yeah, so to, I to was, change when gears. When I gotta, came in, I was in first gear. Actually, I was in second gear. So second. if I'm in second gear, like now I'm in second gear, I, I get it once, twice, down to get back to neutral. So I know I'm in neutral because now I can roll it again. You can roll it again. Yeah. But you gotta squeeze in the handle, you gotta squeeze in the clutch first before you do anything with Yeah, so anytime you wanna touch this, there's always the clutch. So Right. Yeah. Yeah. So but you're it looks like you're lifting up with your, your foot. So it is underneath. That's first. That's second. Okay. Like that. And then go I gotta step back down on it to go backwards. To so go back whatever, down. Whatever however, however many times I raise up, I gotta go back down that many times to get back to, to, to get back start. to neutral. Yeah. yeah. So say say neutral is zero. Right. When I go to make it the third gear. Yeah. I've shifted one, two, two three. three. Now right. I go three, two, one, zero to get to neutral. To get back to neutral yeah. in order to, to to start off again. To start off again. Yeah, because if you if he if he's driving around third gear and he comes to a stop, stop. he tries to go, it's going to be like being it's going to jerk you. Third gear, yeah. it's just it's just going to go whoa, I just and, whoa die. and die out because it's like trying to drive a car in third gear from takeoff. Yeah. So just, if he's yeah, if you're coming down, yeah, you know, you're riding around in third gear. If you come to a complete stop, you you're going to have to go and click it down. Yeah. Right. Yeah, just what, click it down. You'll get yeah. the feel for it. Like you'll feel yourself slowing down. You're like, oh, this is probably too slow for this gear pull your clutch in step down step the next down. gear let off real easy make sure it's not too fast for that gear because hey. it'll go whoa, 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 whoa. right and then then you just give it gas and go again hey okay so, let me just turn it around here yeah turn this thing around let's see what <laughs> so you want to try and start it yeah go ahead and try to let's make sure we can get that thing started and so don't put it in gear or anything. We'll just we'll just start it. So make sure your key is on. Yeah, it's on. Okay, and this is in run. Yep. All right. So just put your foot on that and then press down real hard. A little harder. There, there you go. go. Now, once as soon as you press down and let off of that, your hair is going. To, you want to press down and let right back up. That way, it's not trying to run while the you're, where you're down. Yeah. You press it down because that that's now engaging the kickstarter. So you want to push down and right back up. So as soon as you push it down, you start to hear that thing kick. Just it bring it right from jump. But, yeah. I mean, you got it. You yeah. started it. That sounds awesome. So you're ready to roll. Now, if he starts, so he would have to right now, of course, it's in neutral. It's in neutral. You'd, you'd have to go ahead and squeeze in the clutch. You'd have to push in the clutch. Yeah. And then. That's that yeah, bit, don't, don't put a gear pushing the clutch. Just pushing the clutch. All okay. the way. Okay. Now, start letting it off. Start Real slow. Now, once you get about that point, you'll start feeling the bike go. Yeah. That's when you give it just a little bit of gas. Okay. And just because you give it gas, don't mean you're going to dump that one. You're still going to let that go real slow, slow all the way. So let it uh, real slow all the way to the very yeah. end. That's how, there. So now that's how you're going to go. Okay. And then once and you get going, now once you now that's the only time you go slow. The next time you shift gears, you'll grab it, go up, let off, and go. Right. So the only the only time you want to go slow is the initial takeoff. That initial takeoff, right? right. right. Then after that, you're just like boom, 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 right, on. right, right. Um. So when we get. You would recommend, of course, the 89 maybe or higher gas. Yeah, I would have run put 93. That, 93, okay. Yeah, so, I mean, put 93 in it for now, run a little bit, and then if you want to run 89 for a few times, just yeah. every so often run a tank of 93. Oh, yeah, I'll definitely, just, I'll, we'll probably just yeah. do 93 the so whole like, time. Like on my boat, because it holds 50 gallon, I'll start the season off with 93. Right. I'll cheat a little bit during the summer because it's right. cheaper, run some 89, but then I'll run back and get 93, put some stuff in it just to keep the okay. jackers clean. And then as far as the, uh, you said after a couple hours about changing the oil, do you want him to... 
You want to? Yeah, so here's right. your dipstick. That's yep. where you'll check your oil, and the bike has to be sitting up level. So if it's on a kickstand, it's not going to give it's, you true. So just make sure you're, somebody's holding it up or Correct. whatever. Okay. Yeah. And then right here, they make a big hole for you to get to. That's where you drain the oil. Okay. So there's no no filter. Okay. So, so you just you plug, you take that out. Take the plug off. Yep. Take this off. Let the air come flow through. It'll drain all the oil. Put the plug back in. Put your oil in there. You'll have about this much left in a quart. It doesn't take a full quart. Oh, it doesn't take no. a full quart. Okay, guys. Gotcha. And then while you're, when you do your oil change, and periodically, there's two bolts right here, nuts, that's your, hold your exhaust on. Yeah. Because they get so hot and cold, those will tend to get loose. So every okay. once in a while, you just want to, it's a number 10, it should be in this little tool bag. Just check those, make sure they're good and snug. Make sure, make sure yeah, they're good tight. As long tight. as those stay snug, you're good to go. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's really, and that, and make sure there's the, you want to check your tire pressure. So because they've got the, the. The inner tube in it, yeah, and the, the tube part that you put the air in that's metal. If right. it gets too low, it'll literally cut itself. So, you know, it's 25 30 pounds of pressure 25 to 30. Yep. Okay, yeah, so right now they're set at 30. So, okay, that's that's, that's a good pressure to keep them at. Okay. okay, um, what else here? Anything else? Any other to so make sure that those are tight? The exhaust, yep. those two, yeah, of course, would, your oil. When you do an oil change, if you can put a, a socket ratchet or something on it, I would just test check everything, make sure everything. Like, just check everything you can tighten. Make sure that the Chinese didn't miss something or we didn't miss something. Just, <laughs> right. I mean, right. They're building so many of these things. There's no yeah. way they're not going to miss something. Right. It's just, it's just inevitable. So right. I'd rather, rather you guys go over the bike and know everything's good and tight. Definitely. Um, yeah, that sounds good. It also gets you familiar with the bike too, where Definitely. things are. It's kind of like yeah. watching something for the first time. You. And tell her how to play strap back too. Oh yeah, but the straps when we go to strap that oh, up yeah. here in a minute and all that. You got two I ratchet straps. Here, I think. We got four, yeah. All right, two's all you need. So you'll put one here, one here. Go sh as long as there's something in the front to hook to, yeah. it'll pull it down on its shock, and you're good to go. Okay. Yeah, we I haul you, we haul okay. fifteen thousand dollar Harley motorcycles really? that way. They, okay. They, they don't move. Okay. Oh, I just want to make sure. Yeah, and you can check that can too when we go to. Yeah. 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 Just to make sure. Yeah. Yeah, we I've never strapped one down before. Yeah, so, so I mean, you got any other questions? We'll go load yeah. it up and have to strap her down while we're here before we get crazy. Yeah. Um. Anything else, Sal? Yep. What about so you got the kill switch down? You know how to do that. Yep. Um, right there. The so run switch. Once so you flip it to run real quick, do it one more time. Okay. Try to kick now it. Now your run. Make sure keys on. Yep. <clears throat> yep. Uh, clutch in. Clutch out to run. Yeah. Yep. Now roll it forward. Make sure you're in neutral. Can it roll forward? Will it roll forward, huh? Yeah. There you go. You're so ready. you're in neutral. There you go. Now you're ready to go. There you go. That was perfect. Perfect. Nice. Got it. And then now, of course, for him to kick it into first. Give it a little gas. That's your gas. So. A little gas. There you got okay. it. And, uh, but the first thing you would do, like you said, not pull with the screw first. Just spray it first. Yeah. If it sounds rough, it let's sounds say right now, if it sounded rough, even when he tried to. Right. I'd be yeah. able to rev it up a little bit, shoot some car cleaner right in there until it straightens itself out. Until it straightens out. itself yeah. out. Turn off. But if it sounds sure. too low. If it sounds too low, then you have to turn it up. Just up. turn it up, right. yeah. But that's after the carb cleaner. That would be after you would spray no, the carb cleaner. No, if it's too high, you have to turn it down. If it's too low, the carb cleaner might fix that. Because if it's that, too low, you're right. If it's, it's too the low, carb cleaner. the jet might be a little clogged and it's not letting it get enough gotcha. gas. So you just clean it out and that'll, that'll sometimes pick up If it's the, too low. Yeah, if okay. it's too high, the carb ring ain't going to fix it. It ain't going to fix it. So you would just turn down the screw yes. at that point yes. and not even pull with the carb cleaner. Exactly okay. right. And then all these decals, when you go to Hold on, Tyler. Off, hey, people coming. Oh, oh, hey, how you guys doing? Yeah, we do. My son's in there. He can. Okay. Wait, there's there's not much to show. I mean, there's a little bit, but. It's, do you have any dirt bikes? Uh, no, we're out of seven. I'm hoping to have seven of these by next week. Hopefully. Tyler, looking good. Do I order something, or do you just gotta wait? I gotta wait for them to come in. I mean, I can wait. So what we're doing, we're putting people's name on a list, and then when they come in, we call you and let you know it's there. Okay. And if, so you can tell us what, what you want and what color. Okay. I think we're gonna get red. So okay. Yeah, you can go ahead and get in. I think we got one in there. You can see the size. Okay. Or maybe they took it just All right, cool. Um, so yeah, you go ahead. To get the decals off, you just kind of go like that. You want to get the tape without getting the without getting the decal. Right. Yeah. So you just you, get the you, tape. If you get your nail underneath the decal, to pull the whole decal up. But once you get there, and the whole thing just peels okay. off. Okay. And you can just go pull yeah. it off. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's so much you prettier could. once all the tape's off. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So once you crank it, if it sounds a little rough. While it's low, right? Then you gotta spray. Yep. And then if it feels, if it's too high, then of course you're gonna turn the screw. Correct. And to lower it. Yep. The carb cleaner won't help. Fairings. Yeah, they are. Yep. Fairing. Yep. You got it. Yep. yep. Other on too. Now, the, to uh, when you go to drain the oil, what uh, is that? Just a socket that I can yeah. use? Just yep. use a so socket. Use a socket. I think it's okay. a 17. Is it 17? Okay. Yep. And then um, check the exhaust, like you said. Okay. Um, you got so here's your clutch. If you file that down, there's your clutch cable. You got a clutch adjustment. 
So if, if it gets to the point where the clutch isn't engaging enough, like it, it, he's, he put, he'll hold the clutch, put in gear, and it still wants to roll forward. Okay. Then you can just spread that apart a little bit more to make that cable a little bit shorter, and it'll, it'll make more pull on the clutch. Okay. So it's got its own adjustment on there. Okay. That's if you're squeezing in the clutch and yeah, it's that's, not that's really. Yeah, that's if he's got, so like when I put in first gear, yeah. it just sat there. Yeah. If he puts in the first gear and it's wanting to start rolling forward on him, like it's wanting to go, that means it, the clutch Even with the clutch, more, yeah, the even clutch though clutch the clutch is in, more, but, but it's still wanting to roll. Right. That means down inside the clutch isn't all the way open, so you can adjust it with that cable. So, okay. So you just unscrew and yeah, you just bring unscrew, it further spread out. Yeah, you just spread it out and tighten it back down again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I think we're, any questions, Tyler? You sure? You got it? Good. All right. got, he's got YouTube videos he's been watching. He's on top oh, Yeah, he's of been it. on top of it. Yeah, uh, yeah that's me, awesome. You've got me email too. So you yeah. like after hours or on the weekends or whatever. Yeah, you've been great with around. replying quick yeah. and all that. So if there's any issues when we get home, he should be able to just crank it right up, right? And then jump, start it off start right first. Up, get, get him in, yeah, get just him let him the grass. Get him in the grass. Yeah, it's nice and easy. too. Well, we'll make yeah, be coming, yeah, coming back. You've been great, Larry. Yep. I appreciate it. Oh, you're You've welcome. been a tremendous help. This being his first dirt bike, I know we've been asking you a ton oh, no, of no, questions, so that's, that's I apologize only, for that. But it's all part the, of that's the only way you learn. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I did this 30 years ago, so right. it's been a long time, and it's they've changed a lot since yeah. my time. So I appreciate that. Um, all right, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Yeah, we'll just take it on over, Tyler, and uh, okay. we'll try to strap that up real okay. quick. Yeah, I'm going gate. Yep. Wobble, yep. wobble. So I like do on too. Yep. All right, all right. Oh, yeah, you got stripped. Yeah, got, we got, you got, you got hang down. Good. Yeah, we got this D-ring, I think, up there, yeah. 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 You might have to push it up, Tyler. It's going to get tall on you once you start. Yeah, once you get up. There you go. You got it, buddy? There you go. Tie it right there in the middle. Right there in the wheel chop, right, buddy. Perfect. All right, so take this. Hold on one sec. You just slip it through its own ring. Oh, okay. Like that. No, I'll hold that up. You can get it over here. You're basically just.